Hey everyone, welcome to a new video. Today we're starting a brand new show, Interview with a Vampire, Season 1, Episode 1. Uh, very excited to get into this today, I've heard nothing but great things about the show, I have seen the trailer, it does look really good. Uh, I am watching this now in preparation for the new season, which comes out in a couple weeks. I'm going to try to get, get these episodes out uh, before it comes out. I did this, I've done this with a couple shows in the past, I think I did it with Barry, and uh, now we're doing it with Interview with a Vampire. Now other than the trailer, I don't really know anything else, um, just know that people like it, love it, and there is an actress in this, a younger actress, uh, something Bailey, or Bailey something, um, she was an avatar, she is replaced in, in the next season, uh, and that's all I know, so... Yeah, I'm excited to get into this, so without further ado, let's hop right into Interview with a Vampire, Season 1, Episode 1. Let's go. Anne Rice's Interview with a Vampire, okay. Uh, I've also not seen the film with Tom Cruise and Brad Pitt. I like that. I like that. Grizia, the fangs. There are stories out there that need to be told. No, wrong. Huh. I've been fired from three papers, hired back at two of them. Third got gobbled up by Nate Ritter. Sources are your Sherpas. Your editor. <laughs> I'm so confused. But obviously this is an interview, isn't it? And he make his fantasy a reality. I mean, I guess I just didn't even think about it. Interview with a vampire, yeah. So someone's clearly interviewing someone. Thanks for getting back to me. I, uh, yes. Uh huh. Hmm. I have a feeling that is a vampire. Not this guy, I just mean from a vampire. The, 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 the la. You weren't always a vampire, were you? Hmm. 33 year old man, when I became a vampire, I want to tell the real story. Mm. Please allow me to congratulate you on all your successes. You have provided me a beautiful shot. I offer for your journalistic pleasures. Game of Thrones. Louis de Pont du Lac. As he came back with Bezos, Putin. <laughs> I wasn't sure you'd remembered me. Your book makes no mention of our prior meeting. You have Parkinson's disease, Daniel. And you've got your own hangar at the airport. Privileges on the Royal Maidan Bridge and zero presence online. <laughs> I know the Emiratis are big on privacy. Emiratis? Is that how the Americans pronounce that? Emiratis? Emirates? That's the sun out there. Where's your coffin? Hmm. I have to be very careful whom I let in. Yeah. So, so, um, fuck, whatever. It, 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 yeah, it's horrible. You were disrespectful. I was high. That's my voice, but I don't remember it. It's not an interview, it's a... It's a fever dream told to an idiot. It's changed. The world? Lacking. This is really interesting so far. I do my best work one-on-one. -on -one. Would you see to Mr. Malloy's room? I'm not your fucking boy. I'm an old man with all the triggers that come with it. Hmm. So let's do this. How long have you been dead? <laughs> and here we go. 1910. The true story begins. The executor in charge of the Dupont du Lac. Sorry if I don't talk as much. I mean, some people complain when reactors talk a bit. But on my channel, this whole thing is, I want to analyze and, and talk about what I'm seeing. If you if you just want to watch someone throw funny faces on screen every time something happens, then this ain't the channel for you. But I'm probably not going to talk as much because I have a, what's it called, an ulcer. Two of them next to each other in my lip. So it hurts to talk. 20 blocks of drinking, gambling, and gluttonous whoring. You were a pimp. The product was desire. You got any bills in them fat fucking rows of yours? I was, admittedly, a rougher thing then. Hmm. I apologize, I apologize. So is this AMC? Um, is it AMC? 
think so. Same network as Breaking Bad, Better Call Saul. Get your hands off me! Excuse me. Uh, there's so much wine. Don't worry, none. I ain't cleaning his dick. <laughs> Do you not realize, sister, your body is part of Christ the Lord? Second time this month. The living and the dead, and who's coming on, men will rise again. God helping me here, Paul. Oh, but I am. Please. I'm having a fucking night, okay? I can't have it with your food. Oh. <laughs> you never knew who was watching. <laughs> I can't even smile. So there you go. I, I, I'm i going to have to talk more than pull ex expressions, facial expressions, because if I smile, it hurts. Yeah. Your brother sounds like a pain in the ass. Fragile, stubborn, indulgent. I love the production design. So, uh, selling this, this era very well. I wish I'd watched this much earlier because I'm really interested in this time time period, um, and and I credit that to Red Dead Redemption for making me invested in in all this. And I wanted to thank the family for last Sunday's donation. Babysit money. Church comes and downs them. Want Father Matthias? Thank you. The red-blooded son of the South, seeking ass before absolution. Miss Carol, Miss Lily working tonight. Miss Lily's on the terrace. <laughs> what you're saying but it sure sounds nice both swimmers yeah i thought so the hard table to get how'd you manage how'd you manage to get yourself through the front door mm. your name is louis i know who you are sir you're the man who made me buy a townhouse in the quarter i know sometimes men of my race we all look alike to you people but i didn't say you know townhouse that explains the clothes <laughs> so i wonder he's a vampire yeah I'm assuming he's telling the story of when he becomes a vampire. I'm assuming he's probably going to be bitten by this guy. I disembarked for the music, but then there was food. I wanted to take the end of my cane and slit his throat with it. <laughs> I couldn't move. Tied a string around my lung. Yeah, he's a vampire. I've emptied a bank vault sampling on my safe. <laughs> that was to be my destiny. A handsome man with a most agreeable... So I assume that is Brad Pitt's character and Tom Cruise is, is Louis. I do hope I run into you again, Louis. Well, you said your destiny to be very good friends. And I wanted to be the man. Actually, I never thought about that. I never thought about who uh, who turns those lights off back in the day. From the trailer as well. I don't. I don't know if there's a if there's a villain or what. Unless. The French man is a villain. Rat has come ashore. But that most certainly was him. So he is a vampire. Which has now been confirmed. If he's a villain, I don't know. I don't know. Louis, let me introduce you to Mr. Lestat de Leoncourt. Mr. Leoncourt, your hand is incomprehensible. <laughs> so I wonder how long he's been there for. I have to say, I find it appalling how men like yourself are treated in this country of yours. Hmm. Fifteen percent. I am very confused. <laughs> Maybe I haven't seen enough vampire films to know their powers. Have I? What have I seen? What we do in the shadows? Probably about it, to be honest. And do you think two pair will win the hour? Protection from the wolves. Hmm. Interesting. He wouldn't tell me how he did his trick to make the worlds. <laughs> Days are for sleeping off the previous evening's day. <laughs> Cover for a vampire. Racing. Yeah. Just as I was seduced. 
and I found myself for the very first time. Also, I want to say as well, I've not addressed this in videos, but uh, I've noticed over the past couple of years, I have a quite a big gay audience. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why, but I do on this channel. I am a straight man, okay? So you don't need to keep messaging me. <laughs> Sorry to disappoint. I'm a straight man. I know this is a gay story. I, I think I don't. I, I, I again, I'm just going off trailers. Um, so my audience may grow in that regard. Um, I'm a straight man. Okay, thank you. I pre I appreciate you. I do, and welcome to the channel. B but I've had I've had plenty of messages. <laughs> from people, even emails from people uh, interested. Sorry to disappoint. I am not. What exactly is the nature of your relationship with my brother, Monsieur Leon? <laughs> it just mates, isn't it? And nothing more than that. Come on, man. Your brother and I have been discussing a few investment opportunities. I wasn't being rude. <laughs> Are you one with Christ, Mr. Leon? How about you shut your damn mouth? I wanted to be a priest. I really like how he delivers his lines. He's a fantastic actor. My father, a vulgar man, did not think much of this education. Lock me away. We're between beatings. Answer your boring question. There is an ocean between Christ and myself. Don't do that shit here. Hmm. I am cursed with my father's temper at times. I bought you a gift. Hmm. He's one of the few things I brought with me from the continent. I once knew. Woo, boobies, wee, wee. Told you guys I'm straight. You and me usually just talk. <laughs> Why is that, Lou? The lake. Lake back to river. Whoa, this is like that one scene in Challenges. <laughs> Though maybe I'm Miss Lily. What do you do to her? Well, there you go. <laughs> so she didn't actually, like, die. You didn't imply sleep well was dying, just actually sleeping. So, those two could get it on. <laughs> that's obviously gonna be blood, but that was fun. That's funny. That's a funny image. I did not consider myself a homosexual man at the time. Obviously, I've come to embrace my sexuality. We met at a gay bar, didn't we, Daniel? <laughs> not enough to kill me, but just enough to keep him fit. See, it awoke within me. I had no room for feelings like these in my life. My attention's back to life as it was before. But that was not so easy, was it? <laughs> Funny how uh, a lot of people, homophobes nowadays, they treat gay people and like the gay flag as like, as like vampires. They have like these special powers that if you look at them, they seduce you and you'll become gay yourself, and you'll join the woke movement. <laughs> that's that's genuinely how they say it. It's like, oh, you've caught a bug of the woke virus or whatever it is. So they genuinely just treat gay people and the gay flag, the rainbow flag, as, you know, uh, a, a vampire's eyes. Seducing you. And that's probably how he feels. <laughs> that's a beautiful shot. You still doing business with that man, Lestat? Nah, didn't work out. Is he the devil? You think everyone's a devil. He's here to take souls, he told me so. Mortal sins must be confessed, Louis. You think Levy loves her enough? I do. Do you think he's given her everything he's got inside him? I love you, Louis. I love you too. Aww. Sorry, I looked down for a second. Uh, this thing the dark gift is given. 
That was the last sunrise I ever saw. That was sad. That's sad. That's a great shot. He was a fragile boy. He always was. You don't get past the gates if and you kill yourself. Paul's in hell because of you. Damn. Brother longed for that flagstone. What'd you say to me? Hmm. <laughs> Dorian did me. But he might be a bit of a drug to him. He would not let me. Hmm. Come to me. Of course, Mama Dula. Ah. I've not, maybe I've not mentioned it yet, but other than a few shots, the uh, show looks fantastic. Consistently. I wanted to grieve alone, but he would not allow it. <laughs> Absolutely died, Mr. Dulac. Wow. Police found her under the docks. Blood went and dried up inside her. Yeah. Help me, please. He's in my head, father. <sighs> well, he is the villain then. I'm a drunk lord. Drugs, liquor, women. I, I, I love the men and grab what they got, Lord. And I lie to myself saying I, I'm giving them roof and food and dollar bills in their pocket. Here to cry. And Lord, I drive my... Brilliant performance from him as well. I shame my father. I run like a coward. I lay down with the devil. And he has root in me. Please help me! <laughs> what a performance. Oh my god. In that tawdry box! To this pig vessel! Do you not see how unworthy he is? Oh man. Every room you enter, every hat you're forced to wear, the stern landlord, the deferential businessman, none of them your true nature. The first time I laid eyes on you, your beautiful face. I can swap this life of shame. Swap it out for a dark gift. I love you, Louis. <laughs> and this circle. Are they gonna be a bit villainous together? Guilt and my wish to die seemed utterly unimportant. First time in my life I was seen. Damn. This is a really good pilot. <laughs> this is a really good pilot. Oh, well, here we go. Like the pounding of a drum, there came a pounding of another drum. Above all, in my veins, I realized the drum was my heart, and the other drum had been hit. Wow. Okay. Now that is episode one of Interview with a Vampire. <laughs> that was brilliant. Like I knew people loved this show, but I I I thought maybe they just love it because it's it's a well written, maybe not out this well, but well written, you know, uh, gay romance. But no, this is this genuinely brilliant. Genuinely brilliant. Fantastic production design, cinematography. The acting was incredible. The editing was fantastic. It was consistently engaging. The cut between present and past, uh, past and present, um, made f made for the pacing to just kind of feel that so natural and yeah, the pacing was just fantastic. It, I mean, it's an over an hour. It didn't feel like it at all. Um, I loved this first episode. This was really, really good. Really good. And I was not expecting it to be this good. <laughs> I'm quite shocked at the minute. I'm, I'm quite dumbfounded by how good that first episode was. And I imagine it's going to get better. I don't know how it will, but it's apparently going to get better. 
you're gonna have to let me know what you think of this episode. I don't know. I, again, I don't want to speak too much because it genuinely does hurt. Um, but let me know comments below, comments below what you thought of this. I'm hoping to drop like one a day. As of as I'm filming now, I plan to drop this on Monday or Tuesday. I think it might be Tuesday, a week before the show comes out. Um, probably going to be Monday, and then hopefully I can Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. That should be enough, right? Uh, for the new season on, or is it? No, it's in two weeks, isn't it? Forgot about that. Yeah, no, it's in two weeks. All right, so I can take my time. I can take my time with this. Yeah, not an issue. All right, well, fantastic first episode. Yeah, <laughs> really, really good. Let me know because we thought the first episode of Interview with Vampire. What do you think about the whole show? Don't spoil it. My Instagram, Twitter, letterbox down both like drop over. Thank you for watching. Already.